Hi, and welcome to another video by CopyerTalk.com. Today we're going to revisit an LPR port. Before I was working off of a Windows Vista system, but today we're going to do something a little bit different. I'm on my home desktop and it has Windows 7. It's pretty much the same process, pretty much everything is the same. Even back to Windows XP, it's worded a little bit different, but it's same, same. First thing we're going to do is we're going to install our LPR stuff. We're going to go into our control panel. So the control panel up in the corner. What we're going to do is go into programs. We're going to turn Windows features on. Well, it compiles a list. Right down here, where it says printer documentation or printer and document services. How oh, it's got the little blue square there, and some of it's been installed, but not all of it. So if we expand that by clicking on the plus mark, we'll notice the LPD print service and our LPR port monitor. Neither of those have been installed, so we're going to put a check mark. Both of those, click OK, and we're going to wait a couple of seconds here while Windows installs those. If it takes too long, I'll pause the video. And it should almost be done here. And there we go. If we go back into our Windows features on and off, we will notice that it's no longer blue, but it has a check mark in it, meaning that all of our services have been turned on. Now, Mac OS X, this is resident. This is how most Macs should be set up as an LPR port is standard for Max, and the TCP IP port is an add-in. What we're going to do is we're going to go in and just set up a test printer. So we're going to go to our devices and printers. I already have our my printer installed, but eh. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to add another printer. I'm going to add a local printer. I'm going to create a new port. And we're going to choose LPR port this time. And I know that my printer is at 192.168.1.25 I know that because I'm holding onto a configuration sheet from it now most LPR printers you're going to want to set the queue that you're sending your information to it can be print direct or the hold queue and I want to go back so that I can redo that 2.168.1.25 I want the print queue. That way when I send the document, it is the next thing to be printed. If it was the direct queue, it would be directly to the print queue. If I sent it to the hold queue, it would go to the hold queue so that uh, at a later date, say at 3 o'clock this afternoon or maybe 9 o'clock tonight when no one else is using the printer, I could log into it and then print it at that time rather than taking up valuable printer time while the secretary or one of the other office staff is printing a big report 
or maybe this is a big report and I don't want to hog the printer for the next three hours so I can postpone it until later this evening if I want and it's retrieving information or a list of all devices and I should have clicked on that and here's our list of printers that we have an option to choose from I currently have an HP it's a 4050 next and I'm just going to name it printer on LPR we can name it anything we want. As you can see, it's installing the print driver. It takes it just a second. It'll be nice. If it takes too much longer, I'll pause the video again, but it should be done here in just a second. This isn't a cray by any means, but it's a little bit faster than my laptop. Okay, and we're almost done here. I don't want to share this printer. It's uh, There's no reason to. It's me by myself, so who am I going to share it with? I don't want to set it as default. I am going to print a test page just to make sure that data is going to my printer and I can hear it printing a page over in the corner so we're good with that and I just want to say thanks for watching the video I hope this gave you a little more insight into how to set your printer up it's not that hard this method is a little bit different than most people will tell you but in my experience you'll have much better results thank you and again thanks for watching from copiertalk.com have a great evening. Bye-bye.